In 1925, Abram Isaac Perrault successfully crossed the humble Hermitage with the noble Pinot Noir. The journey of Pinot Noir has been tumultuous, but through drive, passion and strong partnerships, this proudly South African cultivar could earn its place in the sun. 25 years ago, the Pinot Noir Association launched the Top 10 Pinot Noir Awards, driving the excellence of Pinot Noir. By building knowledge, improving skill and changing perceptions, Pinotage could sprout strong roots in the hearts of winemakers and drinkers alike. At a time when the industry was ready for a renaissance, a passionate group of winemakers would transform the way Pinotage was made. In 1981, when I started in the wine industry, there was only a small amount of estates and the concentration of making wine was much more in producing and selling bulk wines. So Pinotage is one of the most difficult varieties to work with and uh, that forced us to look at uh, the grape in a much more analytical way. Uh, so through the 90s we started to realize that you know we had to manage the, the pH of Pinotage more carefully. We had to manage the bacterial spoilage, potential spoilage of Pinotage more carefully so we started to do sterile filtration. Together with that, we also did uh, manage the extraction that it was different because pinotage do have a distinct uh, structure. So uh, because of that, you, today we get much purer, uh, much cleaner pinotages where the, where the fruit is actually, you know, the, the, the prime focus of the wine and not so much, you know, the negatives. To improve the quality of pinotage, winemakers needed to broaden their knowledge of the grape. If we think about experimentation, it was formal and informal. And we decided that the highlights and the lower part should be shared with the younger generation Vinnie and viticulturists so that they could perform much better and that they can make a good pinotage in the bottle and grapes in the vineyards. This research and knowledge is still transferred to new winemakers through the efforts of the Pinotage Association with a lot of quality, much faster than we did in the olden times. We had to experiment a lot and try in the olden days. And we can see it. The results could be seen these days. We winemakers are much more in sync with their terroir and the wine sh shows much more regionality. Regionality in different flavors and different styles in our Pinotage wines these days. The rise of Pinotage was powered by passion and enabled by a strong partnership with APSA. Their unwavering support and industry expertise meant this local varietal could deliver to its full potential. The South African wine industry is making a great contribution towards South Africa and the economy. Apart from creating employment, it's also the foreign currency that's earned to the economy that's of value. When the Pinotage Association approached APSA 25 years ago, it was an easy decision for us. Uh, apart from the contribution, the wine industry, and also being the only South African variety, it made it, made it an easy decision for us to support. As APSA, we're also focusing on the relationship banking, which means that we have a dedicated focus on agriculture. That means that we have a number of specialists across the country that can add value to our, our producing clients and also towards the industry. The history of Pinotage is filled with drive, dedication and a firm belief in the potential of this uniquely South African grape. By building on this heritage, the industry can only prosper.